Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Sonic the Hedgehog. So we're going to start with the upper brow folds. So on the left side here, and I have them looking a little bit in that direction, so let's draw the upper brow. So starting at the top, we're going to just draw a line and curve that comes in towards the center of the face. So this is the center of the head right here. I'm going to draw the, the right side brow fold. So what we're going to do is start, go up a little bit here and draw a curve that intersects with that point. And from this point, I'm going to curve up and over to the same height as I have this line here. And then curl back around. And this is going to make the eye for the right side. And I'm going to put my finger right where the center of the face is. So I'm going to put a dot just below that fold because it actually doesn't connect here. So it's actually one piece, the eye. It's not separated. So from here, I want to come down and then back up to connect to that point. So I'll go back up here kind of curl back towards that center point. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to come down. And now you can see that I'm going to have to connect here. So I will curve in the opposite direction and connect to that point. So it's kind of like a big loop. From here, I'm going to come out just a little bit further to where the nose would be. And I'm just going to draw a big flattened oval. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to draw a smaller oval on the top left side or a highlight, and then go ahead and color the rest in black. Now from this point, I want to draw the eyeball on the left side. So I'll start up here, do an overlap, and just draw a circle or a partial circle on the left side there. Let's go to the right side again, and let's draw the pupil. So it's a very elongated oval. So starting at the top, I'm just going to come down and draw a huge oval. I'm going to draw a smaller one on the inside of this. And then I'm going to draw a little bit of a hook up at the top here, kind of like this, just for the highlight. I'm going to color in the bottom part black. Let's do the exact same thing on the left side here, but you're only going to see a portion of it. So the bottom part of this pupil, and then I'm going to draw and color in the top part black. Okay, from here, I'm going to get down to the bottom of the face. So this head basically a full circle. So right about halfway across the nose here, I'm going to come down and up on the right side. So let's start up here. I'm just going to try to draw a circle, kind of like that, and just kind of fade it out at the end here. Now I'm going to draw on the muzzle of the mouth. So right under this eye, kind of pulls out and then comes in and just tucks in under that chin. So you got this little wedge that happens on the right side here. On the top corner here, I'm just going to draw a curve. And then from the middle of that curve, I'm just going to draw a curve that kind of goes towards center. That's his mouth. Now let's get up to the brow fold. So on this side here, I'm going to go just by the eyeball here and kind of curve out and around that point. Up on here, I'm going to mirror this curve here, just on this side above the eye. Let's draw a brow fold kind of like that. So now, if I imagine this face coming around, it's going to be a big round circle right about here. So I just want to imagine the circle for the head. His ear is going to be right about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the ear in first because it's the, uh, the thing that's on the foreground first. So start up here, right about above this brow. Just draw a curve. And then a curve in the opposite direction. Very simple like that. And then imagine a curve going around to connect these two points. But I'm not going to close the gap. So there's these two little openings on the side. And then I'm going to just outline and trace the inner part of that ear. Now I can go back up here. So if I imagine this curve of this face being full circle, coming around here, it's going to come all the way around, and then it's going to almost straighten out and flatten out towards the first, um, I call it the uh, hair spike. So let's start up here first, and curve around, and tuck it in behind that ear. Now before I go any further, I'm just going to draw the other ear. So the back side of this ear. You're just going to see it like up and then in the other direction, kind of like that. So now I can draw the hair spikes. So he's got big, three big ones, so I'm going to draw one around here. So because this is freeform illustration, you kind of want to give spatial relationship uh, for each part of the body. So if the head is around this wide, I know that the spikes are quite wide as well. So I want to make sure that I make them almost the same length as the, uh, the head. So right about here, I want to come down right about here, so 
curving down. There's one spike. And I'm going to curve this one back towards the face. So curving back towards the face and stopping short. I'm going to do an overlap here. So coming up right here, I want to draw another hook that comes about that long. Then curving this back in towards the face. Then now here I'm going to do a big overlap and come down towards the back. Now this is going to come up right where that muzzle meets the chin. So right about here. So I'm going to start up here actually. It'll be easier for me to connect to that point. Kind of like that. Now let's move on to the body. So I'm going to draw the arms because the arms again are in the foreground. I'm going to, starting right about here, I'm going to draw a curve. This is for the shoulder. And then I'm going to curve the arm. I'm just going to make a simple arm. So basically a curve like this. And then just above here, I'm going to mirror that curve. I'm trying to stay even with the width distance apart on both sides. From here, I'm just going to draw an overlapping curve. This is the hand going into the glove. And then around here, I'm going to come up and just curve around those points. This is the wrinkle in the glove. And then again, doing an overlap. And then this time, I'm going to connect that curve all the way around. Let's go into the hand. So the thumb, I'm just going to draw a simple curve like a C shape. Now, right about here, I'm just going to do an overlap and do the reverse curve. This is the wrinkle in the hand here. So coming up here, I'm going to wrap around that point, And I'm going to do this three more times. One, two, and three. And tuck this in underneath that glove cuff. So there's this hand, very simple hand. Let's get into the front of the body. So right about here, I want the chest puffed out. So right up here, I'm just going to draw a curve and then just kind of vanish off. For the body and back, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So doing the opposite direction and let that vanish off, kind of like that. For the chest, he's got this little chest detail, this little patch. So it's basically an oval or an upside down egg shape. So it's more rounder at the top and pointier at the bottom. So right about here, I'm going to curve around and come down towards the hips. And here I'm just going to do a sharp turn up and let that vanish into the belly there. Let's go ahead and do the other arm and hand. So I want to line up the top of the shoulder. So right about here is where the other arm is going to start. So curving around. Again, I want to make sure that I got the same thickness on both sides. So I'll come around here and draw a curve. And this is exactly what I did here, but just mirrored over. I'm going to draw a curve to just finish off that, that arm. Come up a little bit and draw a curve around that point. Same thing on this side, and then again, doing overlap, and then finishing that off for the glove cuff. Let's go and do the thumb part first, so doing a curve, and then I'm going to cap it off with a curve, kind of like a T, and then coming in and wrapping around for the first finger, overlap for the second finger, third finger, and finally the fourth finger there. Now we can get into the legs. So right about here, we have two legs coming down to the feet. So he's got really big feet. So let's do an overlap here. And just do a curve going outwards. So it's kind of curving this way. I'm going to imagine this line coming down, leaving a gap. And I'm going to draw a curve going down. Here I'm going to do an overlap. And I want the thickness of the leg pretty thin, a little bit thicker than the arms. So here I'm going to do a reverse curve going down like so. I'm going to come in and do an overlap, and then draw the leg coming down in the same direction that way. Now, like I, similar to what I did with the gloves, I'm going to just cap these off with an upward curve on both sides. And then wrapping around that point with two curves, almost like brackets. I'm going to go left and right, just making sure that I got the same state, size. And then doing an overlap here, and then just capping off the bottom the boot cuff. Let's go to the heels first. So I'm going to draw the heel of the shoes first. So right up about here, I'm just going to draw a curve. On this side, I'm going to draw a curve. And the reason why I'm going back and forth is I just want to make sure that I have the same size as I'm working. So from the heel, I'm going to work my way with an upward curve towards the toe. On this side, I will do the exact same thing. And for the toe, I'm just going to tuck this in under that cuff. Same with this side here. And at the bottoms, all I need to do is draw a sole. So it's basically replicating that sole, that uh, bottom line under the shoe. 
and then just two straps. So right about here, we got a curve. Here I'll do a curve. I'll make a thick line for a buckle. Same on this side here. Now I know Sonic he has a couple more hair spikes coming down the back. So what I can do here is kind of come in here and draw a line. Imagine going behind that arm and coming down and then curving that up so it's like a big tapered spike. And I think that's it. There we have it. There's Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please share it with your friends, get them to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.